Okay, this is graphing a line by intercept intercept form, okay, or method. Here is my line I have been asked to graph. And uh, in this case, you don't have to change it into y equals form. You can work exactly with it. The key to it is that whenever I see an intercept, I have a zero here and some number there, or some number here and a zero there. Okay, so that's the key to it. Either x is zero or the y number is zero. So whenever I'm asked to graph something, a very easy method is write this equation on the left and then write it again on the right. 2x plus 3y equals 12. Okay. Now, on this side, I'm going to let x equal 0. And on this side, I'm going to let y equal 0. So wherever I see the letter x, I'm going to put a 0. Wherever I see the letter y, I'm going to put a 0. So here's what the equation looks like. 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 12. 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 12. Now because 0 times anything is 0, this whole term just cancels out and you're left with 3y equals 12. Divide this side by 3, divide this side by 3, that's the number in front of the letter y, and you will automatically have the point where it crosses the y-axis. Some people call this the cover method. If I just take my finger onto the original di uh, thing and cover over the 2x, I automatically end up with this equation right there. Over here, 3 times 0 is 0, so I'm left with 2x equals 12, which is like going back up to the original and putting my finger over the 3y, and I have 2x equals 12. Now divide this by 2, divide this by 2, and I know where it crosses the x-axis. Okay, now to graph the shape, all you have to do now is go to your x-axis at the number 6 and put a cross. Go to your y-axis at the number 4 and put a cross and then join up your two crosses. There, isn't that an easy way to graph a line? Intercept, intercept form. Now what happens if we have negatives in there? Like uh, 5x subtract 3y equals, um, let's say, uh, 25. And we may end up with fractions as well. So I write it down twice. 5x minus 3y equals 25. 5x minus 3y equals 25. I let x equal 0. I let y equal 0. Like that. And this will be 5 times 0 minus 3y is 25 or minus 3y equals 25. Over here I'll have 5x minus 3 times 0 is 25, or 5x equals 25. So I can get to those two lines by covering up the 5x, and that gives me that equation, or covering up the minus 3y, and that gives me that equation. Now all I have to do here is take both sides and divide it by whatever number is in front of the letter. So here I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Here I'll divide both sides by 5. And you just happen to bump into a fraction periodically. You're allowed to. This is negative 8 and 1 third. Okay, you should be able to divide a positive by a negative and use fractions. This gives me x equals 5. Okay, now if I take those two answers up to my, orig up to my original graph, uh, y equals negative 8 and a third, 
is in here. Okay, there's maybe negative 8, and there's maybe negative 9. So there's negative 8 and a third right in there. And I can take my x equals 5 up into here, and there's x equals 5. Now that I have my two lines, I, have, I join up the x's and the x's, and there is that line. So this is line 1, this is line 2. And by the way, that's a useful thing to do whenever you're equip using two lines on the same graph. Make sure you put in some numbers so the marker knows what numbers you're referring to, and also label your lines, line 1 and line 2.